all right welcome back to the channel again same day uh now we're gonna be doing mike's bypass valve from grim speed and then we're also gonna be doing my uh grim speed bypass valve and uh, to do this i'm just gonna jack up the right side the passenger side and let me see grab my flashlight no it's dead and it's in the same place as the intake uh, so you just need to remove this uh, like plastic under tray and it's it's literally right here on the other side um, we're gonna need some like needle nose pliers to like probably pinch off a hose and but that's it it's gonna be a relatively quick install Mike is currently stuffing his face but after he's done he's gonna grab the camera so that he can record and then we're gonna throw these on while we've still got some daylight and then uh maybe we'll go get some audio clips either later on tonight or maybe tomorrow uh we've also got something special going on once we're done so we're trying to hurry up and run through this there's no need to record that all right can you see all right here is bypass valve there is a clamp is right here we're gonna pinch that off and then this is gonna come off of it um, and it should just come right off after that if there's anything else uh, we'll go ahead and make sure and show you guys but that's what we're gonna do right now all right all right so there's two uh, 10 millimeter bolts on each side of the inlet I thought we'd be able to like just Pull it out and pry it out but we weren't able to uh, pull both of these out that way you can remove the inlet so that way uh, you can get to the bypass valve a whole lot easier it'll help you have a extension a long socket and then you let it let it do its thing good all right you got the bypass separated from the inlet uh, just gonna kind of let this hang off to the side uh, behind here there's um, a clamp just loosen that up and then you should be able to twist this up yeah. and also removing uh, the recirculating line there on top that you see I don't know if I'm making any movement there I mean it seems like you're wiggling it See the light real quick? No. Oh, I just turned off. That's all. Right. Oh. Is the red light flashing in the front? Yeah, it is. Okay, and um, it's recording. Oh. It's loosened all the way. Make sure you get that clamp nice and loosened up, and then you're just gonna twist the bypass valve out. Bring it out here to the light. Here is OEM plastic valve from Subaru that we'll be replacing with. Oh, you know what? It's at the bottom. I'm just gonna touch it. Hmm. But, uh, with, okay, go ahead, go ahead. with the Grim Speed, Mike, the feel these. Uh, yeah. Feel the light. Feel the material. So I couldn't really show it earlier. Yeah. I don't know if y'all had seen it earlier, but the holes for the inlet where you need that ratchet with the extension is where you can see it right there. There's one at the top on the left and then there's one on the bottom that's on the right 
Those are the two bolts they need to take out to be able to get this inlet out. Uh, and then once you do that, the sensor needs to come off, right? Uh, I didn't remember that. You didn't remember that? No. Oh, I just, that stays I on. I just got it hanging. Oh, okay, okay. Can we wipe that turbo a bit? Are you trying to make your car sound louder? Yeah. There it is. All right. Make sure it's gonna be angled down like this, so that way you put the inlet back on. Put it right over there. Uh, but Mike wants to wipe down his turbo. He's got this oil line. Uh, oil line, I think. Uh, that's kind of like leaking. It's seeping. Uh, he's gonna need to replace it. So I don't know. I think he wants to wipe it down a little bit, but uh, we'll just tell him that we do. All right. All right. Mike's bypass valve is installed. Y'all were down there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. What's the best way to do it? Find a Mexican. I'm a Mexican. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, but uh, you can wind up having like a little bit of trouble with uh, like your intake to the inlet, that silicone hose part there in between. Uh, did y'all put it over the inlet and then the intake to it? Or did you put the hose over the intake and then onto the inlet? So the intake, then onto the inlet. Okay. Hose was on the intake? Yeah, hose on the intake. And then just attach it to the intake. Um, but that was it, it was a fairly easy install. There's a little, little like, there's some kind of connector that's like pushed into the inlet. Let's pull that out. Um, you use some pliers, pull the, the clamp up. And then there's a, a flathead, kind of like V-band clamp. You undo that, remove your intake, and unbolt your unbolt your inlet, and then just pull that thing off, put it back on your vacuum line, and good to go. Uh, it wasn't too long. All right, bypass valve is on. Uh, later on tonight or tomorrow. Uh, we'll try and get some uh, sound clips, um, but right now you guys saw way earlier the surprise that we've got going on. So that's what everyone's getting ready to eat, kind of chill out. I think we're done for installs for the night. Now I can do this and then everyone can eat, get about whatever they want to go do. Peace.